Hey everybody and welcome to Dinorama. It's it's a play on words, yeah. You like that? <laughs> so um with as much dinosaur building as we've been doing lately, I thought that it was only appropriate that we checked out uh Apple's app of the week, uh Dinorama here. So let's go ahead and open the store and what dino should we start off with? We have a nice uh Little duck bill like guy right here. We can make him like a all kinds of colors. Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, probably not. I'm not a big fan of Pachycephalosaurus. We'll go. How about purple? I think purple will do. He looks good, doesn't he? Oh, we can just twirl it around to set it down. Feeling like you're really in charge like that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh. Yeah, we're not going to name him Iggy. Um, <laughs> how about... Uh, maybe... Banana Head. That works. So Banana Head is all ready. Uh, we can feed him other bushes. Oh, oh no, that's uh, broccoli. Okay. There you go. Banana Head is uh, happy and in love with his broccoli. Um, <laughs> that That is uh, wonderful. That's wonderful. And here comes the sun. Oh, and he is uh, trying to sing along with that glorious tune. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, well. Did you know you can pick up visitors? Yeah, now I do. Look at him fly. <laughs> She's just like hanging out up there with him. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Banana Head, you... Uh, are a wonderful creation, you know that. See what's up the trick of every sleeve of every dinosaur. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Oh, shut up! Come on! <laughs> like, this is historically accurate. What are they teaching these kids? That jazz is so old, it's prehistoric? Oh my god. Well, there you go, children. Uh... Congratulations, you've learned a valuable lesson today. Um, only, only those so old that they are considered fossils uh, listen to jazz music. So, we can place a photo booth. Okay, so we're getting right into this. Uh, we already have a dinosaur and we're gonna have a building soon too. All these kids are jumping for joy. That kid needs his game pad. God, drop some pterodactyls, that's lovely. Uh, I'm assuming that, yeah, he can just play the night away. We can feed him as many times as possible. I wonder how many kids can get in front of that. I think we have two empty slots ahead of us still, so that's good at least. Everybody's paying like five cents to come to the dinosaurs. That's uh, quite the deal, you know? <laughs> quite, quite the Oh, hey. Look at this. Uh, oh, a photo booth. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put one of these suckers down. They can pose as hatched dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, good job. Tap and hold your finger on the photo booth to open the move menu. Okay. Um,. Let's put it over here. That looks better. There we go. Now we just throw these kids up in there, and uh, they, they're they happy. They're happy campers. Good deal. Alright, let's see if we can get anybody else. You can go in, and she's looking for her, so she can go in there too. Why not? Hopefully she goes in there. Oh no. They fell in love! <laughs> that wasn't the plan! <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. So... Um, Dino-Rama, very, oh, okay, so, completed an objective, good deal. Uh, we have some new items that we'll take a look at here in a moment. Where's that iPad thing, or the iPhone, or whatever, oh, there it is, jeez, looking all over for that. Oh yeah, she loves it, okay. You're right there, stupid. Jeez, just look at the dinosaur. <laughs> okay, feed our dino a little bit, get his health all the way up. There you go, banana head. 
You don't want anything else? Oh, you're a spoiled fool. Don't want corn. Unbelievable. You have no idea what a rare commodity corn is for for people in uh in Southeast Asia. Um, corn is a very spectacular feat. Look at this girl. She's like, I love corn. <laughs> she just jumps from the top. Uh, no, I don't think so. But let's go ahead and feed him one of these again. See, oh, that was what he lost. But there's nobody in the park. Great. Well. Oh well. See, that's that's uh how you learn. And we unlock the shelf. We unlock the shelf. It looks like we have a restroom that looks like a empty roll of toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> rather, rather charming, to say the least. Oh, yeah, it's getting dirty. That, um, this must be like their excuse for, uh, feces in the game, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Well, I have to say, it's, it's, it wouldn't be much fun if we had to swat all those flies on our own, you know? Um, yeah. That apparently was out of the developer's hands, but oh well. Banana Head doesn't care. He is uh, getting lots of attention, lots of love, and that's the way it should be, I suppose. Let's go ahead and put this bathroom down. And there it is. He even came with his own tree, so we'll cut that up, harvest it, use it for its own uh, toilet paper. I'm sure, probably not, but you never know. You never know. Banana Head might uh, know the inside workings of the zoo game here, or the Dino Rama game, whatever. But oh, where's your game? Where's your game? Oh, there it is. Jeez, that was easy enough. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and move her over there. And there you go. She fell in love with the game at the Dinosaur Zoo. That's awesome. You know, it, it, it's gotta be said, this zoo really isn't like a wonder of nature or anything. I mean, like, look at the fence. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Um, the T-Rex is now an, an op-ed columnist. <laughs> that that kind of sucks. Um, okay. So, we need 30 coins before the rain hits. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um... We should be able to make it. I think so. Yeah, with this, this will put us over the top. There we go. Okay. So, I was gonna say earlier, you know, these cages are like a modern work of, uh, of scientists, you know? Like, look at this. It's like a cardboard box, and it has, like, straws as a fence to keep the dinos in. I mean... Come on, really, that is uh, that is something else. And the kids love it, so that's all that really matters, I guess, right? Is what the kitties like. So, good deal, good deal. Banana Head, you are a charming son of a gun. It's gotta be said. Oh, turn around, lady, really? Yeah, like, if I lose something, the first thing I do is turn around, not say, I wonder where that is, and just keep walking where I've never been. Uh. Alright. So, the stormy season has hit, and Banana Head is, uh, getting a little under the weather. It's getting a little under the weather. It's because he didn't eat his dang corn. I told him to eat the corn, and he just ignored me! Ah. Uh. And the sun is just disconcerned with how bad Banana has been not eating his corn. There you go. See, now you're healthy. But the sun hasn't gotten the news yet because it's so far away. It's so far away. It takes a little while to uh, get the news to travel after all. So, But all these visitors, I don't care. They're just going to jump. Whoa! New record. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It sets records for how high you can throw the visitors up? That's awesome! Oh, <laughs> 72 feet! 
Come on, none of these kids are gonna come down with like broken legs or uh or you know, uh thunderbolts uh electrocuting them. Really? None? Alright. Well what have you, you know? At least I'm getting stickers from them. That's all that's important, right? Yeah, I know. So Banana Head's taking a nap. He doesn't like the stormy season, but now that's over. And we just set a new record. Ah, throwing these kids up in the air. How? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? You know, Dino Rama. What's Dino Rama about? Well, you you open a dinosaur part, but that's not the only exciting thing. Uh, the, the most exciting thing actually is throwing wee little children up into the air and setting new records. Well, what what does that have to do with a dinosaur park? Well, well, nothing. <laughs> you know? uh, so we're expanding. What can we put in that's new? It looks like we can unlock a new dino here in a minute. Uh, we need one more sticker to do that. So what else is on there? Doesn't look like there's any other dinos to come soon. So hopefully we get another coin and we can go in there and uh and get that. Or another sticker, I mean. So there's our sticker. Throw some kids up in the air for a few minutes just to kill some time. <laughs> Whee! It doesn't get old. <laughs> it, come on, how does it get old, really? I mean, you just toss them up and, and there it goes, you know? So... Please don't toss your children. That is, uh, <laughs> that would not be a good thing. But Banana Head says, please do not toss the children. Right? Right. So, we unlocked a new shelf and we have a Stegosaurus. All right. He, um, is a charming fellow, to say the least. Um, somebody lost their keys. Where are they? Oh, there they are. There you go. You look like you're too young to drive. Um, please stay off the roads, but otherwise enjoy your day. Um, right. So it's gonna take a while for us to earn these coins. So hopefully uh, we can get them and get the stego in here relatively soon. All right, so we're one away. One coin away. Come on, banana head. Give us a coin. Oh, oh god. Is this... Is this some kind of new dinosaur celebration ceremony? That we're about to unwitness? Um... Or unwitness? Witness? <laughs> Don't ever say unwitness. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Unless, of course, you witness something so disturbing that you have to unwitness it. Uh, then that might be an option. But... Alright. So there we go. We have a hundred. So... That guy wants more dinosaurs. We are gonna give him some more dinosaurs. Right, kiddo? Yeah, no problem. Okay, so, Stegosaurus time. Let's go ahead and bring that beast in. Look at him. Look at how freaking big he is. Unbelievable. Lower him down, and there he goes. And, uh, we're not calling him Andy. Uh, let's call him... Prickly Pete. And there you go. Prickly Pete is up and about in our Dino Rama. What's Cake do for him? What's he gonna do? Jam out on a guitar? Come on. Pull out a guitar. That's it? His special ability is being lazy? Prickly Pete, you suck. I, I give you a cupcake. <laughs> look, look at Banana Head's response. He, he pooped in his cage. That was so terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this... This is quite depressing, I have to say. I would go to this park if it had a popcorn stand. It's not enough that it has two dinosaurs in it. Uh, you, you have to have popcorn too. Typical, typical American, I'm sure, right? Jeez. Unbelievable. Banana Head and Prickly Peter are just like, are, seriously? <laughs> oh. Wow. 
that is just sad. Oh well. Um, at least my guests are enjoying their new dino. And uh, even though he's lazy as all heck, uh, you know, still. They're, they're setting new records. <laughs> 82 feet. That's uh, quite high for a six-year-old. But, uh, you know, six-year-old, five-year-old, four-year-old, whatever. Uh, I'm sure he's not that old, unless, of course, he is a little person. Um, but I don't think that that is the case. So, yes, sir. Um, oh, my God. I would come to the park if the signs weren't hanging off the thing, right? That, that's a pretty horrible way to fix a dinosaur sign, is to use glue. Um... <laughs> I mean, really. Come on. Uh, just, just do it right. Use nails or something. I mean, come on. Another one with the popcorn stand? Really? Popcorn's that important to you? It's not enough we have dinosaurs, right? Ah. <sighs> well, Banana had passed out over the smell of his own poo. Pretty much. Um, Prickly Pete, he hasn't had that problem yet because he just eats watermelon. He hasn't seen any come out. And, uh, yeah. There you go. There you have it. Banana Head's happy. And, uh, that's, that's all that really matters in the end, you know? <laughs> just fling that poo off into space. Jeez. Alright, so that's, uh, Dino-Rama. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. It is, it's a lot of fun. I mean, obviously it's not Jurassic Park Builder by any means of the imagination, but still, it, it's, it's, it, it has its own unique charm to it, you know? So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of this, uh, I don't know, do you want to see more of this? Um, let me know, like, you know, comment, etc. All the good stuff. And, um, yeah! Well, we'll see you guys next time for Banana Head for uh, Prickly Pete. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you guys next time.